G'day, I'm Arion Light, founder of The Art of Living Awake, and man passionate about love in action. That love that overflows from us and calls us to give and to serve and to make a difference. Not because we're trying to be more, but simply because there's nothing left to do than to give. This video is the second in a series on creation secrets, which is the foundations of the Project with Heart program. So in the first video we looked at the key skills to knowing our heart and to knowing another's heart and the, the power to um, see how the games our shadow plays with us and to let them go so that my heart and your heart can be alive and be the, the uh, creators of the project. In this video we look at the next three creation skills and these skills give you the grounded framework of what action do I take today. They um, clarify very simply and very powerfully what it is to get in action from your heart. Um, they are sourced from the work of a man called Robert Fritz and it's in all the creation and training I've done with so many different people I keep coming back to this very simple framework. I've trained many people in it and found it's very simple and very powerful in shaping your action. So let's get into the first principle. And the first principle is know your outcome, which very simply means what is it that I'm moving towards? What is it that these actions are shaping? Now, this skill helps our crazy mind that's often got its fingers in a lot of pies come focused and and build its attention and its energy towards one vision. Now this doesn't mean becoming rigid and fixed on an idea it simply means using the power of focus because our mind is has so many things to focus on at any time it has to choose which will I pay attention to and so the clearer you create the vision, the clearer your mind will gather information in line with what you're creating. For example, if your mind says, um, what's wrong with me today? It will naturally then go and gather information about what's wrong with you today. If you're, you're put out the same thing about how can I complete this task today passionately and powerfully, it will bring you information on that. And so therefore, being able to focus our mind to know the outcome that we're wanting, whether that's the whole project or just in today's action, is the, the foundation for clear, simple, easy action. Yep, we find that outcome in our heart and then we bring it into clear focus. And the clearer the focus, the easier the action is towards it. So that's the first step, is to know your outcome. Now, the second one is its uh, polar opposite, its dancing partner, if you will. And this is know where you are right now. Yep, um, what Robert Fritz calls current reality. Now, this is being able to be honest about where you are in relation to that outcome that you're wanting to create. So if the outcome I've said I want to create is to write another book, then the where I am now gets me really grounded in how much time do I have, um, what are my skills in writing, and really gets me to be honest and real about where am I right now. Now, this one was a revelation for me. As a man who was passionate and full of visions, it was very easy for me to imagine a vision of what was possible. But what this one taught me was that without a really powerful, grounded relationship with reality, then we're off chasing visions without knowing where we are right now. Just like when you're on a, looking on a map, you need to know where you're going and where you are. Yeah, And without knowing where you are, it's, it doesn't matter how clear it is where you're going, you need to know where you are. Now, too often, our visions and our dreams and our projects are too much focused on where we're going and they're not anchored in a clear understanding of where I, I am right now in relationship to that outcome. We don't understand both the practical um, weaknesses and strengths that we have and so we, our actions then are, are scattered and um, not centred in grounded reality. 
So in, on one hand you have what's possible, the vision that you're going to create. And in the other hand you have what's real right now. And the two of them, they're like mother and father of your project of creative power. If you've only got one of them, you won't be um, fully engaged in your power. Yeah? If you've just got the vision, you'll be in fantasy. You'll be already seeing yourself having completed the vision, but not actually clear on what to do about it to make it real. Sort of a, a wishing and a hoping it will happen. On the other hand, if over here, this is the only one that's present and I'm so caught in my current reality, then I will let the, the circumstances and the, the way I perceive life right now to, to shape me and create me and I won't be able to see the, the full vision and be moved by that possibility into a new version of myself and what's possible. So the two of them sit there and a powerful creator makes them their allies, knows that yes, anything is possible and what is real right now is very important. And the, the more I can tr be truthful with both of them and clear and focused and powerful with both of them, the more the third skill, the third key gets born. Now the, the third key is very simply know and take the next step. Now the next step is very simply the, the next little step to bring forth the vision that you've been wanting to create. Now the next step arises out of knowing where we are now. So if I'm powerfully related to where I'm going and I'm powerfully related to now, then the next step is very obvious. It might be to make a phone call, it might be to, to write this um, letter, it might be to learn more about this person, learn, do research on this, whatever it is it becomes very, very clear. And then all there's left to do is to get on in action on that, now, today. And every little action grow, moves us forward and that gets fed back into where am I going, where am I now, what's the next step? And so the three of them then form a powerful consciousness directing tool for your daily actions. Okay, today what is it that I want to create? Okay, where am I now? What resources do I have? Great, what's the next step? And that the more skilled you become in the three of them, the more power you have day by day to build towards the vision that you're wanting to create. You know, if you look at a baby, you'll see that every day a baby is developing new perceptive skills from the way they move their hands to the, their capacity to sit up, the capacity to turn their head. And by the time a child is walking, they have built layers and layers and layers of development that allow for that walking to exist. So over here, if the child said, I want to walk, but wasn't grounded in, actually, I can't move my head, <laughs> then this would never manifest. So what happens is there is a calling to walk, there is a calling to evolve, but there is also very much a relatedness to where I am right now. And then the next step is to learn to move my head. Then the next step is to learn to lift my head, then to sit up, and on it goes. And so too with our project is that there are many layers to the building and shaping of our projects with heart. And too many of us don't understand these layers and are trying to run before we've learnt to crawl. And so these three, knowing where I am now, whoops, I'm changing hands, knowing where I'm going, knowing where I am now, and knowing the next step, teaches you to build layer after layer of your project. And the more you can build one solid layer, the more powerful becomes the next one. I've spent a lot of time in my life creating from a, a inspiration fueled sort of zest that driven a lot by the vision and it creates a certain amount but it's sort of like the energy dries up yeah and I've learned to patiently build and as you build from keeping in mind what's possible and knowing where I am now and taking that next step the foundations are built and your project that the the calling of your heart can grow into the most extraordinary thing you know, there's that expression, the journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. Well, even more simply, a journey of a thousand miles is made up of just one step. 
repeated often. <laughs> and so that's what this next step is, is to repeat that what's needed, what's the, the next thing to do again and again and again. So in the Projects with Heart, we, we look at becoming skilled in these three things as a foundation for staying true to the actions of your heart and building the projects that you're called to create. Now I know if you're watching this video that you have things inside you that you want to share. And I'm passionate and um, almost excitable about that occurring because I deeply believe in a world moved and sourced from the love inside us. And I believe that just knowing that love in our heart is not enough. It's letting it move through us and into action that really shapes this world and it offers us the possibility of shaping a world sourced from what really matters and what is actually sustainable and will work. So I really honour you for taking this time to learn a little bit from me how to serve your project. And if what you hear resonates and you want to develop these skills, then look for a link somewhere around this video and come and find out more. Thanks so much for your time.